Alright well guys welcome back to the channel in this video we are going to be creating military drone night vision effect inside of DaVinci Resolve. Clean up that signal. Target reset. Now I can do this all inside the edit page you don't have to use the fusion page to create this effect. So here is a footage that I'll be working with. The first thing that you want to do is go to effects and scroll up till you see adjustment clip. Drag that and create a new layer out of it. And you can stretch it to the length of your footage. And on this adjustment clip, I can apply multiple effects to create this drone look. So the first effect that you want to use is night vision. So just simply drag that onto adjustment clip. And here you can make changes to this effect the night vision effect by default i noticed that there is um, an animation you can might not notice it but there is this subtle change in the colors over here uh, notice the green area so we want to fix this and to do that we have to go to this um, click on this fusion icon right next to the night vision click on that and here is this night vision effect in a group double click on it to expand it and the culprit is this mosaic blur so let's just double click to expand it and it has this blend property which is being animated so we want to remove this simply double click on it to remove it and you can set the blend to one over here let's go back to the edit page now let's just change the look a little bit i'm going to reduce the alpha slider and also let's just reduce the reds over here and a little bit of the green as well and i'm going to set the pixel frequency to zero for now and you can pretty much change the look of this footage by increasing the lift and changing the gamma values and you know just play around with the settings till you are happy with the result and once you are happy then you can just move on to the next step which is applying the drone overlay effect just drag that onto the adjustment clip and here we have this HUD of a drone overlay. So let's just expand that and we will go to the colors over here and we'll change the graphic one color. It's too white in this scene. So we'll kind of uh, blend it in with the scene. So let's just remove or reduce the red, green and blue and also the alpha so that it is kind of blending in with the scene. You can reduce the red and blue even more something like that and you do the same thing with the graphic too as well reduce the alpha so that it blends in nicely with this footage we have over here uh, and at any point if you think that there are too many elements in this drone shot you can go ahead and click on this fusion icon and you have this drone group over here and you can delete any of these nodes and keep it really minimal but i kind of like the look so i'm just gonna keep it as it is the next thing we want to do is we want to change the uh, graphic or the ring color over here so let's just increase the green and then i'm just gonna reduce the target size something like that and you can even change the or add the glow as well if you want to do that but i'm just going to reset this and then if you scroll down you'll see that by default we have some tint applied if you just move it around you can see that it changes the color of the whole footage if you want that you can use this slider to instantly change the look of it but i'm just going to set this to zero i'm going to set the tint to zero and strength to zero as well then we will just uh, if you want to have some green you can leave the green strength to 0.1 think it looks really nice so yeah let's just set this to 0.1 the next effect that we want to apply is the cctv drag that to this adjustment clip and let's just expand the cctv over here and the first thing we we'll do is we want to remove the text from here or you can if you want to you can replace it with your own text if you want to do that so let's just uh, remove this remove this as well and remove this block of text you can see now the saturation is set to zero i'm going to bring it back so i'm going to set this to one 
and then you can change the scan lines if you want but i think the default values look just fine and since we already have the noise or the grain from the previous effect which is the drone overlay so i'm going to set the noise uh, size and strength to zero and then we also have this blur size which i think is too intense so i'm going to set this to 0.5 cool so if you now oops so if you now Um, preview this this is how it is going to look great so let's just move this adjustment clip to a new track and i have this the radar hud overlay let's just drag that in and we will change the composite mode set this to add and let's just also um, use the transform over here and change the zoom amount but as you can see you cannot see the changes and that's because of this adjustment clip you cannot see the changes instantly uh, you just if you just disable this video track then you will be able to see all these changes instantly so let's just disable video track 3 and position this footage properly and now if you enable it you should see this all these effects will be applied to this radar as well and i have another overlay which is this one i'm actually gonna just drag and drop the video itself not the audio and let's just do the same thing let's just reduce the zoom and i'm going to set the composite mode to add and change the position and kind of bring it in the bottom left like so great now you can enable the adjustment clip and there you have it let's just preview this in the full screen mode and that's how you will be able to create this effect inside of davinci resolve so i hope this video is helpful i hope it will help you in your upcoming projects if this was helpful, don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.